In this lecture, we will be discussing about a strength of H2O2 solution. There are many ways by which we can express the concentration of H2O2 solution. One way to express the H2O2 concentration solution is, this is by percentage strength. Let us say when I say X percent H2O2 solution, so I have H2O2 X percent solution. What is the meaning of this? This is a meaning, this X percent, so in this case percentage is basically weight by volume. So this is a weight by volume percentage and weight is taken in gram and volume is generally taken in milliliter. So this means X percentage means, X percent H2O2 means, if I take 100 ml solution, so 100 ml solution of H2O2, of H2O2 will contain X gram of H2O2. So 100 ml solution of H2O2 will contain X gram of H2O2. So this is the meaning. Let us say uh, we can convert this strength percentage strength into molarity. So what is the moles of so I have be it of H2O2? This is basically X gram. What is moles of H2O2? So we can calculate moles of H2O2. This is basically weight divided by molecular weight that is 34. So this is moles of H2O2. Now volume of solution is 100 ml. So this is in 100 ml solution. So we have solution is 100 ml. So volume of solution, solution, this is 100 ml and that is basically 0.1 liter. So we can define molarity of solution. So molarity of solution, this is equals to moles by volume and moles is x by 34 and volume is 0.1 so we will have xy 34 and the volume is 0.1 that is basically 1 by 10 so this is 5 by 17 into x and this is molarity so let us say if I write molarity as m so we can write molarity is equals to 5 by 17 into x where M is the molarity and X is the volume of percentage strength. So where M is molarity and X is the percentage strength of H2O2 solution. Now let us see we have two H2O2 bottles. So this is uh, we have related the molarity and percentage strength. Now we are coming to the volume of strength. Now if you see this H2O2 bottle, there is written, this is 30 volume. So concentration of H2O2 is generally given in terms of 30 volume, 20 volume, 40 volume. That is called volume of strength. So volume, so some wrappers of this package, sometimes it is 10 volume, 20 volume. 30 volume, 40 volume. So these are less strength, this is higher strength. This is concentrated H2O2, this is dilute H2O2. What is the meaning if I say volume of strength? Let us say to understand the volume of strength of H2O2, so we are interested in volume of strength of H2O2 solution. So this is the second way by which we can give the strength of H2O2 solution first is by percentage and the second is by volume of strength. Now H2O2 is a liquid so first important point H2O2 is liquid. When we heat the a solution of H2O2 so if we heat H2O2 solution it will give you H2O and this will also give you half O2. Now if you balance this equation you will have 2 H2O2 and this will give you 2 H2O plus O2. Now H2O2 is a liquid, H2O is a liquid and oxygen is a gas. So when I say let us say 20 volume H2O2, so what is the meaning of 20 volume of H2O2? 
This has a meaning that if I take one volume of H2O2, this will give you 20 volume of O2 at STP. So this has very simple meaning and the meaning is if I take one volume of H2O2, it will give you 20 volume of O2 and this is at STP. So this is the meaning of 20 volume. Now let us say we can convert or we can have 1 liter H2O2. So if I take 1 liter liquid H2O2, so this is liquid H2O2, it will give you 20 liter of O2 gas, O2 gas at STP. Basically, we can convert molarity into volume strength. Let us say I have a solution H2O2 solution that has a molarity of N. So, H2O2 solution having a molarity M, having a molarity M. So, molarity is M. This is given. What is the meaning molarity M? This means M moles of H2O2, M moles of H2O2 in 1 liter solution. M moles of H2O2 in 1 liter solution. So, if I decompose H2O2, so let us see H2O2 and this gives you heating H2O plus O2 and we have to multiply this by 2 and this by 2. So, you see 2 moles gives you 1 mole of oxygen. This means 1 mole is 22.4 liter at STP. So, 2 moles, so 2 moles of H2O2 it's basically giving one mole of O2. So if you see this reaction, 2 gives 1 and one mole O2 is equivalent to 22.4 liter at STP. So now I can say 2 mole gives 22.4 liter. So one mole will give 11.2 liter. So now I can say M mole of H2O2 will give 11.2 into M liter of O2 and now this M mole is basically contained in 1 liter of H2O2. So I can say 1 liter of H2O2 gives 11.2 into M liter of O2 and 1 liter of H2O2 this is the amount of oxygen at STP and this is same as volume of strength. So, I can say volume of strength of H2O2, volume of strength of H2O2 and this is equals to 11.2 into M. Let us call volume of strength is V. So, we can say volume of strength V is equals to 11.2 into M. Basically, if we base, we can also convert this volume of strength in terms of normality. If you see this reaction, that is this decomposition reaction, in this reaction, n factor of H2O2 is 2. That is, in this case, n factor for H2O2, H2O2 is 2. And now this we will not derive in this lecture. This can be derived only in oxidation reduction chapter. So only you assume or you remember that in this kind of reaction, the n factor of H2O2 is 2. So now we know normality is equals to molarity times n factor. So I can write normality is equals to n factor is 2. So molarity into 2. So from here we can write molarity is equals to n factor divided by 2. So, if I plug this value in this equation, so V is equals to 11.2 into molarity that is normality by 2. So, this is 5.6 into n. So, we have a relationship between volume of strength and normality that is volume of strength is 5.6 into normality. So, we can remember this equation that is volume of strength is equals to 5.6 into normality.
Now if you wish, we can also relate a relation between volume of strength and percentage. So let us say find a relation, find a relation between volume of strength, volume of strength and percentage of strength and this is easy you see for volume of strength and molarity we have relation volume of strength is 11.2 times molarity and for a strength we have a relation a strength and molarity relation is here so you see m is equals to 5 by 17 into x m is equals to 5 by 17 into x so from this two equation if I plug this value of m in equation 1 so I can write v is equals to 11.2 into 5 by 17 into x so now we will have v is equals to 11.2 into 5 divided by 17 into x so this is a relationship between volume of strength so v is volume of strength here and x is percentage of strength so x is basically percentage of strength so these are the ways so we said in this lecture there are three ways to express the concentration of H2O2 solution one is molarity and this one easy one everybody knows and the second is percentage of strength this is important but not so important and third is volume of strength and this is the most important and we also said how we can derive a relationship between any two so relation so we said how we can derive relation among any of any two of them 